Attorney General Sedwoy Benjamin made this statement last week. As your AG, I'll have to entertain discussions. There are many groups, Mr. Speaker, who have approached the Attorney General and have asked him to consider bringing legislation about the same-sex business. They have to take us to court with that one. And the Eastern Caribbean Alliance for Diversity and Equality's Executive Director, Kenita Placid, says to the court they'll go. This is the only way, apparently, if we get a change, and I have no doubt that we will get a change, is through the court. ECID is a regional advocacy body for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and intersex rights. ECID wants changes to be made to laws that criminalize adult same-sex intimacy, such as indecency laws and buggery. Placid, who is based in St. Lucia, says statements such as those made by the Attorney General are expected. So no one who wants to have a political career will actually challenge this law or make changes to this law without they having a bitter fight or even a loss of two. Very few persons in the Caribbean can do that, even if we have seen it happen in other places in the world. She says this is because there isn't a clear separation of church and state in the region and LGBT issues tend to be a hot topic for the church. There are no marches, there are no suggestions of press conferences when our children are being hurt or gang violence is increasing or other issues that affect the family but once it's lgbt we know how um they come out in full forces while acknowledging laws that criminalize same-sex intimacy are seldom enforced placid says there is still a need for the laws to be removed once a law exists it can be implemented at any point and if this law as most politicians are saying is not imposed, then why do we still need to have it on our books? Jessica Russell, ABS News.